Hello everyone and welcome to uh, a quick guide on how to send your troops to war in App Wars. For you guys who uh, are not aware, App Wars is probably one of the best, if not the best game, strategy game in the blockchain at the moment. And this is a quick guide on how you can send your troops to war uh, before the war actually uh, ends. So you have two factions, just a, a quick run on this one. You have two factions. You can choose both if you want, or you can go for the corporation, which are humans or the degenerate. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, demonstration I'm just using a, a wallet for the uh, demo. So don't pay attention to uh, any of the amounts that you'll see there because you will make your own judgment. Uh, this video is made 16 hours before the war ends, but the the process will be the same for every single war. So how do we go about this? Uh, how about this? And if you have any doubts, just go ahead and follow these simple steps. So if you go to the links, uh, all the links that I'll show here will be in the video description. So what, what you have to do is you go into the war test, well, into the war, you go click enlist, then you'll be shown this uh, section here. And then when you click on, you will approve the contract. And when you click enlist, you will be asked to enlist your troops at war, which then will be this step right here. So let's talk about these steps one by one, and we'll even start with a little bit less. So before we hit step one, how do you get the warriors and the gold so let's imagine that you have you have to have bnb in order to pay for your of course it's a binance smart chain so you have to have bnb in order to pay for your uh, uh fees so imagine that you have i'm just going to use usd i've put on some usd here just for the for the sake of it so let's say that i want to exchange all of my uh usd for uh w gold um you can just quickly do a swap uh, if you are in a rush and you don't want to farm, you can simply, instead of swapping for war gold, you can swap for any of the warriors and you can find their price either here on the on their exchange. So please use, do not forget to use App Wars Exchange and don't go to Pancake. Okay, this is uh, Pancake, Pancake V1 based, but please use their exchange. You're going you're gonna to find better liquidity and less errors. Um, so if you just want to choose a faction, uh, go ahead and buy the amount that you want of each faction. If you want to go to farming, how can you do this? So you can actually farm your warriors instead of having to spend money on them. Uh, you will not have enough time to farm them uh, until the end of this war. Still, you might want to check it out uh, uh, while uh, while you're at it. Uh, just uh, while this opens, okay, here we go. So you can farm uh, uh, gold. If you provide liquidity, how do you do that? It's quite simple. You just provide liquidity as if you're using a, a simple farm. Uh, if you want to stake some gold and uh, uh, use it uh, for uh, farming some warriors, you'll basically uh, will approve these contracts and you will be, I've been testing these out, bought, bought some NFTs. So as you can see, I have 20% uh, Saber NFTs that give me 80% burn rate. Uh, so if you don't buy NFTs on their store, which is around here, game items. So if you don't buy these NFTs, you will have a 99% burn. So imagine that you stake 1000 war gold here, 99% of that will be burned. So you will be uh, farming with only 10 gold. Okay, so be aware of that. And it's very much the same for the, for the remainder. Uh, except for the arcane, which are the strongest, you can only farm. I've been testing this out. Um, you can only farm if you have uh, the previous level two, so these tier two warriors. Okay, I've been testing it out. It works perfectly. No errors, no problems whatsoever. I just, I don't know. I like the orcs better uh, at this moment for the demo. So I've only chosen to pay fees on one side. Don't blame me for that. But then for the staking, I'll just go ahead. I bought some troops and transferred some troops also from my main account so that you guys can see. So 
you have here the global troops and if you jump into the the wars this is where you're going to find the action so you can see at the moment that we have well oh it's uh, it's changed so you have a good amount of uh, uh enlisted humans and uh, an overcoming amount of uh, of uh, orcs you just press enlist you go to the main page that you saw before and you can choose to either approve the enlistment and here you'll find the stats of how many you have at war or you can so if you just click approve before so you're going to have to sign the contract i'm not going to be doing that for the sake of time because it's going to take time to approve the contract i have a few here who have already uh, approved the contract just for the sake of the example please be aware that when you stake them two things will happen you will not be able to unstake your troops until the war ends when does it end that when the, this timer goes to zero uh, and if you win you will be moving to the other steps okay so be careful about that and then also notice that the majority of your troops will die in war so that means that you are in principle sending yes you are betting on sending some troops to war that means you will be you're sending well in theory money uh so uh say war gold to uh to war please don't think about that uh because uh most if you are smart and you are here in time you can just farm it that means that you will not be spending money uh, or gold you will be earning them so please be aware of that and this is a game where you should play why should you play plain simple and easy so if you check here the war stats you are playing to get almost uh, uh well you get a share of this based on the ratio of your troops so let's see if i'm here uh if you send 50,000 troops to war and this faction wins you're going to have 10 percent of that 5 million uh in theory of course uh, there is a a bit of a, a percentage wise that's going to be the smart contract is going to choose how many of the gold is sent to back to the players and how many of um how much of this gold is actually burned so let's say if you send 50 percent so if you send 50,000 troops to war here you will be just for the sake of numbers if you send 58,000 troops that means that you are having in theory about 10 percent power so it's power based and not number based it will depend on the number and power of your troops so please read the docs all the docs are here I'm going to leave this uh, link in the description. Uh, you will come here, uh, and if you stake in the war contract 58,000, so that gives you 10%. If the humans win, you're going to get, in theory, a max cap of 10% of this uh, 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 gold that is at the feds even this uh, this this name is a genius feds uh so that it's the forces of extreme darkness and not the fed that we uh, uh that we know from the uh, well um but still uh you would get four million gold so what happens now the random number an random number will be picked between 10 and 90 percent that means that if let's say if 60 percent is the number 60 percent of this amount will be sent back to the players and 40 percent so the remainder will be burned this is quite positive on the tokenomics uh, because you might think oh why is this gold not being sent back to the players well two main reasons one is to actually drive the price up like you can see on many 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 uh, uh crypto assets at the moment like bnb even or even cake and the bsc network um and the other one is if you send this back to the players well when when you get a lot of money typically there's a big dump so if you get a lot of gold so it's war gold uh you 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 could get a good dump so the the team is actually smart in this um to preserve this gold from uh, being dumped so in the worst case well uh, the number is between 10 and 90 so random numbers are going to play uh, in the law of large numbers 
you should fall about 50%. So when, when many wars come at place, about 50% of this gold would be to the players and 50% will be burned, which is actually good because gold has a, war gold has a deflationary uh, uh, emission, pretty much like Bitcoin. Uh, it has about 10 times as much um, emission, uh, uh, tokens than uh, Bitcoin. And uh, it instead of having a deflationary uh, uh, term of several years, it, it basically goes down to zero in one year, which is really, really good for the tokenomics of the, of the asset. So if you want to play, just go ahead and click Wars, click Enlist. You either approve the contract to uh, make sure that you can enlist or you can enlist them at war. Let's say that I'm going to enlist, I don't know, just for the sake of the example, 10 or 100 or even all of them. Uh, I'm not going to put the contract. Uh, don't, don't send half of them because it might give you an issue with the. Uh, so you will approve it. Okay. Uh, I want to prove it, just not be uh, here paying fees on, on something that's not my account. And then you'll see uh, the amount of warriors that you'll have at war. Okay. So be careful uh, because most of the warriors might die in war. You might want to check out the NFT store because if you have these NFTs, for example, you can, and these are cumulative, so you cannot have two of 10% and adding 20%, but these guys uh, have their description here. So if you buy a 10%, that means 10% of your troops will be brought back from debt, 15% um, and 20%. If you have them, these three, then that means that 45% of your troops will be uh, uh, back from the dead. Uh, also, for the uh, for the arcane, that means that 25% of your arcane units will be uh, uh, saved from perishing in battle. Okay, so these gold savers will save you from um, the burn that you will get from farming the troops, and these troop savers will save you from the burn that you will get from farm for farming these guys here. Uh, so the uh, the um, level three the the wizards okay that's pretty much all i'll share everything the contracts are pretty much available you will want to check them out they're legit um everything's here you can check their twitter their uh they have a really nice medium account where they post uh, uh almost daily you can check the token evolution price at GoSwap if you'd like. Just put the War Gold contract if you'd like. Uh, you can even check uh, with using this uh, uh, liquidity pool calculator. You can even check how is your liquidity pool. You just need to connect to your wallet. Uh, then that's pretty much it. Enjoy the game. Make sure to have fun. Make sure to uh, get some gold. And uh, well, at the end of the day, we're all here to. Uh, risk a bit and take a bit of reward. So uh, be sure to uh, enlist your troops and get some rewards back. Cheers to the O. See you in the next one.